Okay, it is Friday, August 7th, 2020. Uh, we're here to provide another update for the town of Yorktown as the ongoing power restoration that's been going on throughout our town. Joined by our highway superintendent who's out in the field, Dave Paganelli. Dave, why don't you tell folks real quick where you're at right now? I am on Lexington Avenue, just south of Amazon Road. Um, we've cleared three trees already and we're hoping to get Lexington Avenue open for traffic this evening. And as a reminder to the residents at home, we did close Lexington Avenue northbound coming from 202 going up to Route 6, correct, Dave? Yes, there were two locations, actually, this location I'm at now, um, and the lo two locations actually um, by Decatur as well as by Crawford. So right. those th that is open now. So from Route 6 down to Amazon Road, Lexington Avenue is not a problem. And um, God willing, we get this last tree out of the way here. We'll have Lexington Avenue open in 10. All right. Well, we really, again, I just want to thank you and the entire highway department staff just for another tremendous, tremendous, tremendous effort uh, for tremendous effort for what you've been doing today. I know it's been a long road, but um, just to give some folks an update on the numbers, NYSEG is now reporting 459 customers uh, out of their entire service area. So that's 459 out of NYSEG. They've made tremendous progress as we frankly expected them to because they had cleared all of their roads uh, previously with the help of the highway department. And they, and again, I just want to take another step back. Thanks to uh, Highway Superintendent Paganelli uh, and, and uh, the town board. Um, NYSEG had given us a dedicated make safe crew uh, that went working in tandem with the highway department. We did not receive that from Con Edison. Uh, so they were able to clear all of their roads that were in their service area. Uh, and so now, and then today they've been able to focus purely on restoration. Uh, Con Edison is still currently reporting 2,436 without power. Uh, we did receive one crew from Con Edison. The su uh, highway superintendent Paganelli and I uh, put out a public statement today because we were sure that we were going to get multiple crews from Con Edison, and yet we only received one, despite them being staged uh, again at FDR Park, which last time I checked is still located in the town of Yorktown. Dry ice we know is going to be provided tomorrow, once again, from our uh, partners from NYSEG. We're gonna provide information once we have confirmation on the time, but it will be provided once more uh, over at the CVS in the Triangle Shopping Center. Um, the uh, organic yard is gonna be open tomorrow from 7.30 a.m. to 2.45, correct, Dave? Yes, sir. And uh, again, we've been seeing record number of folks who have been uh, dropping off down branches and, and rubbish, uh, organic rubbish, uh, that as they've been continuing with the cleanup over at the yard. And I just want to remind everyone one more time, the JV Mall uh, has been a great community partner for the town of Yorktown, and they continue to be our cooling as well as our charging station. Uh, so up in their food court. So if you do need to take a break from the outdoors, if you do need to charge some devices, um, please feel free to use the Jefferson Valley Mall. We want to thank them again uh, for their uh, incredible partnership during another trying week here in the town of Yorktown. Dave, can you just provide residents with an update as to how many roads do we still have that are either closed or partially closed? Give us an update from the field from where you're at. At this point, we have 21 roads that are partially closed. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get um, right now we have um, Mohansic Avenue. We'll be moving on to there tomorrow with this Con Ed crew. We've been promised a um, an, at least one additional crew, but we've seen how that's worked out in the past. You we know. were told the same thing for today. <laughs> yes. Um, so we are bringing in two crews. Um, we will hopefully get a second crew from Con Ed. We'll move over to Mohansic Avenue. We will move then down Mohansic Avenue, White Hill. We will move down White Hill. Um, grab old Crompon Road between Field and Catherine, and then we will head down Hunterbrook Road and Baptist Church. Okay. So, you know, those are roads that are, you know, there aren't a lot of easy ways around those. So right. I'd really like to say something. I'd like to thank Ann Anderson and Angela Cavallo for grabbing the phones at Highway, which the volume is beyond incredible. And, you know, I get a little... I'm sorry, Dave, we lost you. We lost you. Are you there? Dave? I think we're having some. 
Dave, are you there? I we're having some technical we're having some technical difficulties again. Uh, but I, I hear you. I know that uh, both Ann and Angela have been tremendous partners uh, for the town, taking care of as many constituent calls as they can. Uh, same. I also want to thank uh, uh, Jenna Bell Castro and uh, and Kira Brunner. Uh, who've been up in the supervisor's office uh, helping me as well as we take those phone calls, um, listening to constituents. Uh, unfortunately, we're having a hard time uh, with some technical difficulties with Dave right now. Um, I do also want to let folks know as we try to fix Dave here that um, we've been on regional calls constantly through this entire process uh, with both Con Ed, NYSEG, um, as well as uh, the Westchester County Emergency uh, Operations Center. Uh, speaking of which, a, a very big thank you once again to Sergeant Craig Scatola, uh, who's been running the Yorktown EOC. We've been doing it virtually, as well as, of course, uh, to Chief Noble and the entire Yorktown Police Department and all of our first responders for continuing to do a tremendous job. Uh, but on those regional calls, I can tell everyone, I, I, we know the frustration. You, I hope you can hear in our voice how frustrated Dave and I are. Uh, we are solely focused right now on getting the power back to as many people as we can. But I can tell you this that the leaders and the elected officials from the top down have, have just been um, just spitting fire on these calls just out of pure frustration, uh, including ourselves. And so um, right now, again, we have to stay focused on getting power restoration uh, back to our community. Uh, and then once again, uh, we, can, we can engage in the correct process uh, to ensure that there is some type of accountability uh, that, is, that is brought down, we hope, by the state of New York. And I also want to make sure that's clear because it's the state of New York that oversees the utility companies. I'd love to say that it's the town of Yorktown. It's not. And you can see, uh, again, Dave's out here in, in the fields. This is why we're having some technical difficulties. But it's not the town of Yorktown. It's, it's the state of New York. It's a public service commission. Uh, and so we are, we are very, very hopeful that our state legislators who have been very engaged, both Senator Harcum, Sunderland Byrne, uh, as well as, as, well as uh, the, our partners in the, in the governor's office, uh, the Public Service Commission has been on these regional calls. They have heard uh, specifically all the complaints, things like people getting text messages when they are being told that they have power and they don't have power. I mean, these are all the things that we've been raising directly, not just to the utility company, but also to the Public Service Commission to hear as well. And so um, we continue to push as hard as we can, again, for restoration. Uh, we've continued to uh, speak out, uh, frankly, uh, against, uh, against Con Ed's um, deployment of, of the adequate staff that uh, we have not seen here in the town of Yorktown, despite again being in uh, FDR Park for their staging area. Dave, did you get back? Can we hear you now, Dave? And, and so I know that, uh, I got you, Dave, but I know, and again, I'm, again, we're having some technical difficulties because Highway Superintendent Paganelli is out on Lexington Avenue. Um, Optimum, I keep getting questions about Optimum. Here's what's going on with Optimum. It's a lot of finger pointing. Optimum's blaming Con Ed, Con Ed's blaming Optimum. It's, it's frankly just ridiculous, uh, but we are trying to get some clear uh, estimated times of restoration for Optimum customers. It is important though to understand for Optimum customers uh, that they do rely on the same lines that our power companies rely on. And so if the power line is down, then most likely you're having an impact from there. Um, but we need to get better clarification and better communication from Optimum uh, uh, to our residents and to the town, because I can tell you that I have not spoken to a single Optimum representative. I get all my information second and third hand from our regional calls and from our other partners in government um, who are being notified. So it's been a very frustrating process for me personally, for the town, for the town board. Um, but we are trying our best to get as much information as we can and to provide it to the public. Um, I know that Dave had a lot more to talk about tonight, and I and I feel horrible that we're having some technical difficulties. But I can just assure the town again, as you can see, our highway superintendent is still out there with our crews, trying our best to get Lexington Avenue open. Please continue to follow the social media pages for the town of Yorktown. Sign up for your Nixel alerts, also for the town's email blast, because that's how we're trying to get as much information as we can out to the public. Again, considering everyone's uh, power is questionable. Uh, and with that, we just, again, you can always reach out to the supervisor's office. We're going to be uh, having people in the office tomorrow, 914-962-5722, extension 200. That's my direct line. You can always email me at mslater at yorktowny.org. Uh, we continue to try to be a hub of information uh, to provide as much as we can to the public. Uh, and to, again, to try to get as much power as we can get restored as quickly as we can. So we know it's a frustrating 
uh, a frustrating process. We've been through this before. We saw it with Sandy. We saw it with Riley and Quinn. Uh, but right now, again, the town's focus is just on getting the power back. And so I really want to personally, I don't even think you can hear me, but thank Highway Superintendent Paganelli. Thank our incredible highway department and thank all the town employees because our town employees have continued to work. They've continued to be uh, on the ground, whether it's uh, helping deliver and, and distribute dry ice, whether it's taking care of some other uh, infrastructure issues. Um, I'm happy to say that our sewer department uh, has our plant back up and running. Uh, we had people who were stationed at the sewer plant for 60 hours straight uh, running generators. I mean, that's all the things that go on behind the scenes um, and it's been a complete team effort from the top down. And so again, the town was ready. The town did everything that it needed to do to make sure we were prepared for this. Uh, it's just, a, it's just a damn shame that this, that the utility companies specifically Con Edison uh, dropped the ball and uh, we will continue to do our best to provide as much information as we can and get everyone's power on as fast as, as fast as Con Ed can get it on. Uh, but until then just stay safe uh, and just know that we are working as hard as we possibly can for the residents of Yorktown. And again, to Dave Paganelli and to the entire highway department, a big thank you on behalf of the entire town for your tireless efforts. It does not go unnoticed uh, and just stay safe out there. All right, Yorktown, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.